Let's say we're asked to solve two questions with regards to the function f of p equals 8p plus 3 all over 5. On the left hand side we're tasked with finding f of 9 and on the right hand side we're tasked with finding the solution to the equation f of p equals 2. These are two similar looking but extremely different questions. So let's start with the one on the left. When we're given the task to find f of 9, we're being told implicitly that p, or the independent variable, assumes the value of 9, and we're being asked to find what the output variable, or the dependent variable f, is going to be when p is 9. So notationally, we replace the p's in the equation with the number 9. We write f of p as f of 9, and 8 times p turns into 8 times 9, while the 3 and the 5 just come along for the ride. At this stage, we recognize that 8 times 9 is 72. So that expression simplifies to 72 plus 3 all over 5. And then 72 plus 3 in the numerator simplifies to 75. And 75 divided by 5 reduces to 15. Now what this means is, when the input of the function is 9, the output of the function is 15. Or another phrase that we could use to explain this statement is that when the independent value, the independent variable assumes the value of 9, the dependent variable is 15. So there are a couple of different ways of expressing that same expression. The equation on the right, or the question on the right, is asking us to solve an equation where f of p is equal to 2. This is different to the one on the left because here, instead of being given the value of the independent variable, we're actually told what the output of the function is, and we're being asked to back into what the input would have been. Now one option here is to just randomly pick and choose values of p until 8p plus 3 over 5 turns out to be 2. But that would be a terribly inefficient use of time. What we can do is leverage our understanding of function notation, which is to say that if f of p is equal to 2, we ought to be able to replace it with the number 2. Now this is a very simple linear equation that we've solved many, many times before. We can start by multiplying 5 on both sides, and that gives us a 10 equals 8p plus 3. The 5 in the denominator cancels out. At this stage, we can subtract the 3 from both sides, yielding 7 equals 8p. Finally, to get p by itself, we can divide the 8 over to the left-hand side, giving us p equals 7 over 8. What this means is that when we take 7 over 8, as the independent variable, and we plug it into f, the output of the function is going to be 2. 